Uh, thank you for using Nintendo Switch. Content you posted in-game has been deleted because it violates the Nintendo user agreement, including the Nintendo Code of Content. Violation. Cheating and hacking during online gameplay. What? What's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we are going to talk about hacking cheating and the implications of what is going on in the Animal Crossing community right now with star trees or any kind of special trees that are inside your game. Yes, my entire dream address got deleted. It was an interesting thing. So we're going to actually backpedal this and see exactly what happened. So here we go. In case you guys uh, don't know what's going on, I made a video a long time ago in uh, the end of May. Uh, called what can you grow on special trees right over here and I'm going to Pretty much in this entire video I'll show you guys. Hey, this is what the community figured out how to do This is what people are doing online. It was more about reporting about it Not necessarily teaching people how to do it and at the same time people were all wondering like what are the implications of having these on your island and I'm going to play this little snippet over here so that you guys can understand exactly what is going on and what I said during it so that we can use hindsight today in order to see if that was actually correct. So hold on. We're just going to talk about this real quick. All right. Boom. Think about the implications of having these items within your town, right? Some of you guys uh, have heard, oh my gosh, you know, you know, there's a lot of hacked items in the game. Is this safe for me? For me? Um, you know, I've heard whisperings that people have gotten their entire save file erased. And I spent 700 hours on my town. I don't really want to risk it. Well, as of right now, there's no factual evidence that anything can happen if you have these items in the game. But, but it's been confirmed that Nintendo does indeed practice in telemetry or the availability to transmit data of what the players are doing within their game. So if you think that anything that you're doing on your island is just you and yourself, you're completely wrong because Nintendo knows exactly how many trees, how many bushes, how many items are in your storage. They know everything about that stuff. So with telemetry, and it's very popular in app games because whenever you download an app game, it says, hey, do you agree to the end terms and conditions? Yeah. 1% of you guys actually scroll through and read it all fine print, but the rest of us just click on OK. And that's pretty much saying, hey, you know what? They're submitting all the information to the developer so they know exactly what's going on. So that being said, the telemetry is being sent over to Nintendo to say, hey, heads up, a regular old money tree has a parameter of this number. This tree over here has a parameter of the gold nugget, which does not equate. This parameter has the Nook Miles ticket, so that does not equate. What Nintendo does with that information is really up to them. Will they choose to ban accounts from going on Nintendo Online? I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't speak for Nintendo. Will they be able to, as soon as you log in, crash your game and say, hey, sorry, you can't play this game anymore? Highly doubt that. So take it with a grain of salt. If you guys like the aesthetics of them, cool, go for it. Find someone to trade them. But... I would say, you know, leave it at that. Anyway. Okay, so that hit it right on the money. I don't know if you guys saw that, but yeah, that was absolutely on the money. Um, so practicing in telemetry. And what happened was we did a live stream. We did a live stream right over here, uncovering all the details and secrets of the August update. We did this on the 29th. The update was at 8 p.m., um, I spent the first hour doing fireworks and then like right around 9 p.m. was when I went online and then I submitted my dream address. And yes, my town has the star trees. Absolutely they do. I'm not going to deny that. Those are the coolest things ever. So what happened then was I get this email. Of course, I haven't checked it until today. I get this email over here. Um, saying right over here at 729 2020 at 9.06, which is the moment, the moment that I uploaded this. Um, it says right over here, violation is cheating, hacking during online gameplay. This is Nintendo's final decision. If this viol if violations continue, other actions such as restricting your usage of Nintendo account services may be taken. We appreciate your cooperation in creating an enjoyable online environment. For more details, please refer to the end user agreement or the Nintendo code of conduct. So this is interesting. Now, I've seen a lot of people uh, online um, witch hunting. 
They're they're out here like witch hunting. They're trying to find people with star trees and report them. But this isn't a, a win for them. This is Nintendo using telemetry to find that stuff. Because there's no way that like it's gonna be reported the moment that I upload it. You know, there there have been hours of time before that. Um, so, like, where do we go from this, right? Where do we even go? What's considered cheating, right? Like, the, the term cheating is so subjective. If you received a money tree, or sorry, if you received a star tree in your, um, in your game, does that necessarily make you a cheater if you received it from a friend? Where do you draw the line on that? And that's exactly what we're going to explore today. What makes you a cheater? It's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. But before we go into that, uh, I'm going to click over here. This is the end user agreement, the E-U-L-A. So there's a lot of legalese over here. Uh, you can go through and read it line by line if you really want to use some Nintendo services. I'll link it in the description so that you guys can be better aware of what exactly is going on. And the most important thing that I want to show you guys right over here is the Nintendo Code of Conduct, right? It's the Code of Conduct that can be found here. And this is really eye-opening. All right, so for starters, there's only two things that I want to touch on. The first thing over here is going to be uh, number C, or letter C. It says, attempting to derive source code of gain unauthorized or automated access of any Nintendo software used to provide service or any feature Hosting, intercepting, right here, like this is hosting, intercepting, using cheats, automated software, bots, hacks, or mods, uh, or any other software designed to modify the service, right? So yes, this is absolutely it. If you have a star tree, it is not naturally occurring in the game. It is considered a hack. I'm not beating around the bush. I know full well that that's what it is. I like the aesthetic. I think it's really cool. I think the way that I'm using them is harmless because I'm not going out there charging people Nook Miles tickets or in real life money in order to give them to them. Um, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not promoting it. It's just on my island. It's kind of a secluded thing. And I think that that's okay. But according to this, it's absolutely not okay. If you do anything like that, that is against the code of conduct, right? Um, let's see, using the service on an unauthorized device or a device that's been modified, like I don't do any of that stuff. Like I receive them in trades and a lot of you guys have too. There's a small amount of you guys that actually have custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch, that's fine. Um, of course, that's not part of code of conduct, but people are gonna do it anyway. But then like the majority of you guys have gotten them through trades, you found it on message board, you found it on discord, someone was trading them around and then you got one, which is cool, right? Um, but anyway, according to the code of conduct, that is unacceptable. Now, another thing, part of the code of conduct right over here, which is two spots above C, and this is the most important part, which a lot of people seem to be hypocritical, and they're not really taking this into account. Okay, A, right? So two spots above C, uh, misrepresenting, impersonating, abusing, stalking, threatening, or harassing any person or company such as other users, Nintendo, Nintendo employees, moderators, contractors, um, engaging in uh, promoting in any discriminatory, defamatory, hateful, obscene, physically dangerous, or otherwise illegal, fraudulent, objectual conduct uh, in connection with the service. All right, so this is it. So a lot of people love to point fingers at other people. Like, you're a hacker, man, because you have these in your town. Like this in and of itself, the moment that you start pointing fingers, you've got one, two, three fingers pointing right back at you. So keep that in mind. And intellectuals will understand this. Um, but see, like threatening, harassing any person or company such as other users, if you're harassing other people about having star trees, you're doing the exact same thing. Like you're misrepresenting the code of conduct. <laughs> so like, don't be pointing fingers. If people wanna play the game, then that's their risk. They can absolutely do that. Now, this also brings me back to um, months ago. This is three months ago. Social experiment. Um, outside of time traveling, what do you consider cheating in Animal Crossing? Be specific and list as many things as you personally feel uh, or what you've seen uh, other people shame other people online with. So we had about 2,000 likes on this one. We had almost 2,000 comments of just everyone talking about all of their different uh, ways that they feel that other people are cheating. And I kind of got like a TLDR of it, and I made a list of 20 things out here that just a whole bunch of people have kind of talked about. 
Um, so right over here, I'll, I'll go over this list. And it's just to show you guys that the concept of cheating and pointing fingers at other people, it's subjective, right? It's completely subjective from person to person. For example, a lot of people think that time traveling is cheating. Okay, right? So you're going to go to someone's dream address and uh, click on report them put by pressing the minus button and you're going to say cheating because you're going to assume that they time traveled to get all those items when it's in fact you think it's impossible for a traditional player to get all that stuff. Like, come on now. Uh, when people scam each other. Yeah, that's absolutely considered cheating. Uh, sending golden or valuable items to new players is what people have actually thought over here. Um, duplication glitches or glitches of any kind. Yeah, sure. That can be construed as cheating. Um, hacking the game is cheating. Uh, stealing from others. Spoilers on events is cheating. Uh, when people charge real life currency for villagers or rare wanted items is considered cheating. Putting turnips in another player's inventory on the same switch and time traveling, but the turnips don't rot because they're in the other player's inventory. <laughs> That's cheating, right? I don't know. Like, you can see that I'm making light of this, but these are actual people's opinions on what is considered cheating in the game. Um, giving a new player millions of bells. Uh, people shaming each other on how to, wait, how to play their game that they bought. Uh, playing on more than one console and transferring items between the two. Time traveling to Sunday when a friend has a good turn up price. Uh, skipping dates to see events or getting a villager to move out. Uh, friends sending you fossils once, they, once they've completed their museum is cheating since you don't personally track each of those down. Time traveling, then selling bells for real money. Hosting catalog parties, charging an entry fee, resetting the game at the beginning because you didn't get the native fruit or starting villagers you wanted, installing a save editor, using uh, means of hacked amiibo to get certain villagers. The list goes on and on and on. What do you consider cheating, right? And then these are all the people that have just like voiced their opinions on this. And I'm slowly scrolling through it so that you guys can read this stuff. If you guys want to read the full post, feel free to do it. But at the end of the day, like play the game how you want to, yes. There is a Nintendo code of conduct, but it works both ways. If you're out here harassing other people because they have star trees or golden nugget trees, then you're equally as wrong as the people who have them. So I don't know, man. I don't know. So what are you going to do now in real life, right? What are you going to do in real life with Luna over here? What is the, what happened? So I went online. I found out that my dream address was gone. People were not able to update it or go into it. But if I wanted to share a dream, I can absolutely do so again. I'm not banned from it by any means. This is the real thing that happened. My dream address was deleted based off of telemetry the moment that I uploaded it. Um, and it's not based off of people reporting it. So, like, th those people don't win. Um, it's more along the lines of Nintendo saying, hey, there's, uh, there's trees over here on this island. Attributes over here are not normal. So here we go, boom, we're just gonna send out these mass emails to all these people. So what do you do now? You can still upload the dream. I would honestly say, if you want to still have the, the, the trees on your town, feel free to have them, right? Yes, it's against code of conduct, sure, but that's your choice. It's your choice on whether or not you want to abide by that stuff. But the moment that you take that online with people and or dream addresses for the public, then you can possibly face deletion of that specific dream address. Now, I haven't done the science of what happens if you keep on uploading that same dream address with all those things. Like, I haven't done that science. And do I want to do the science? No, I don't want to push Nintendo's buttons. I've already got like four of my videos deleted from Nintendo because I was covering all the, the little duplication glitches. So they really, really take this game very, very seriously. So I would, just with a grain of salt, if you want to put your dream address online for other people to visit, feel free to do so. But get rid of your camo items, like this little camo cat. If you have like any kind of camo items, you can get rid of those guys. And if you have any of the trees floating around, I would just say, if you have a friend that wants to hold on to them for you and they don't care about going online, then drop those stuff off at a friend's house and maybe you can pick them up later. Um, but at the end of the day, the game is yours how you want to play it. And as crass as that may sound, that's just what it is. Don't judge other people. Is my, is ha, is me having all of these star trees offending people in any way? How is it negatively affecting someone who visits my town that I have a dream address and I shared with my viewers, right? So get this, the whole dream address concept, the whole dream address concept is, it's private if you think about it, right? A dream code 
is given from a content creator to someone else saying, hey, you know what? If you want to visit my town, here you go. Nintendo is not promoting this dream code in any way, shape, or form. There's not a UI shop that says, hey, visit these high rated ones like Super Mario Maker, right? It's not like Super Mario Maker where Nintendo is pushing these. This is more along the lines of like, I'm giving my dream address to you so that you can come visit my town without me having to open up the gates and deal with that nonsense. So how is it negatively hurting people? Just think about that. Yes, again, I'll admit it, it's, it's a hacked item. That's what it is. I think they look cool, but it's not necessarily hurting anyone. So that's the ethics behind it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Feel free to let me know what you guys think about all of the uh, little star trees or hacked items in the game. What is your definition of cheating in Animal Crossing? Do you feel that having these items on your island is wrong and therefore you shouldn't do it? Or are you guys just going to take them all off and then re-upload your town? Like, What's going on? I want to hear from you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, I, uh, I absolutely droned on a little bit, but I mean, there's a lot to say about this stuff. It is a very ethical dilemma. And the way that people are kind of blowing it up out of proportion is a little insane, but that's okay, whatever. People are gonna be people. People, there are, people are always going to try to, uh, try to ruin things for other people. Everyone has their own opinion on what is right and what is wrong. I'm gonna take the neutral approach of say, you know what, hey, play the game however you want to. Whether or not you're gonna chime travel, whether or not you're going to uh, try to get the star trees, whatever, like, that's fine. As long as it doesn't affect other people in a competitive way. If Animal Crossing was competitive and I use these star trees to somehow give, give me a competitive advantage, I would absolutely say no. But it's just aesthetics. And aesthetics aren't really going to kill the game. That's my final word on that one. Do what you want, feel free, think of it however you want to. I can't wait to read all your comments in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day, take care.